break me, my dear. I don't give a Worlds, the iconic radio play presented by the legendary Orson Welles, the director of the, uh, the film that is often voted as the greatest film of all time, Citizen Kane. And he's also probably did the most iconic and best radio play of all time, War of the Worlds, along with the Mercury Theatre. The radio play based on H. G. E. Wells' novel The War of the Worlds, which acted as a metaphor for the genocide of Aboriginals in Tasmania. The War of the Worlds radio play was presented as an actual news report, inspired by the Hindenburg disaster the year before. Wells would use this in his version of War of the Worlds at Grover Mill, with it presented as a live news report with the mill's individual reporter seemingly improvising and stating what he is seeing in front of him describing it in brilliant and convincing detail. What was most chilling about the play was that whenever a person died on screen or off screen, I don't know, it's radio, there was no loud scream. You heard the panicking of the people, but the broadcast seemingly just cut off, going silent for a minute before cutting back to the radio station. Furthermore, what I also really liked was the supposed use of famed scientists, professors, and an emergency broadcast from the interior secretary, which helped add to the realism of a broadcast. Most tellingly of a broadcast, though, was that some listeners actually believed that the Martians were invading, and that they had landed at Grover Mill, in Jersey, because of this it supports the hypodermic needle theory, which is a media theory which suggests that people are directly influenced by the media, fully accepting what is presented before them. The War of the Worlds contains some great voice acting by Orson Welles, who also brilliantly directed it by creating a real sense of realism to the play. However, the second half of the play is clearly more of an adaption than a real broadcast as it is told in first person by Orson Welles, who describes the events which later transpired from his point of view. But the event people weren't listening, with many people panicking because of it, which as a result led to Welles clarifying at the end of a play that this was merely done for Halloween and that it is not to be taken seriously, even though at the beginning of the play they had stated it was a radio broadcast. People, a lot of people tuned in later, and that's why there was confusion. Overall, War of the World is the most infamous radio broadcast of all time, with brilliant direction, writing, and production by Wells. It is an, has earned its place in history, infamously fooling people, and gets an A+ as a result. Thank you, guys, and if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more.